The buzz around town is that it's swarm season, but don't be afraid. I'm your Eagle Neighborhood reporter, Alexander Huddleston, and I met up with a couple members of the Treasure Valley Beekeepers Club to discuss what you could do if you see a swarm. Bees are your friends. They're not the yellow jackets, because they're yellow jackets, they're meat eaters, and you're on the menu. As the flowers bloom, spring is not the only season starting. Honeybees begin leaving their hives for swarming season. Yeah, we're in it right now. Uh, starts kind of late March, ends around early July. Colonies of bees are making it through the winter time, uh, and they're just growing in population right now in the spring. They're running out of room in their hive for this increased population. So most people are going to see it as going to be like a, a football or a basketball shaped swarm. Often they'll be hanging off of a fence, off of a tree limb. Jim McMahon, a beekeeper based in Eagle, told me about the important role bees play in our ecosystem. Uh, 35 to 40 percent of everything we eat, particularly if you go into the vegetable and, and fruit aisle in your local store, is created by bees. One of the things that, that we can do as human beings is consider carefully the types of pesticides that we're using on our plants, on our lawns, uh, and on the things that we control, uh, because those pesticides are threatening to the lives of those bees. Beekeeper Garrett Hanna wants people to know that when a swarm is spotted to prevent harm to yourself or the bees, do not take matter into your own hands or the chemicals of a spray. Instead, give a beekeeper a call so that they can remove it. I have the landowner send me a picture of the bees. Um, and once we are for sure that they are honeybees, we come out to their house and uh, we assess the area, put our hive set up, maybe some boxes underneath that swarm of bees that's maybe on a branch. And we shake the bees into the box and they, they kind of, they find their new home. And as long as the queen gets in the box, all the other bees can smell the queen and they'll kind of join in. That's why these beekeepers want the bees is to make sure that they survive and then we also reap the benefits of uh, a little bit of honey every year. If you see a swarm, you can contact a local beekeeper in your neighborhood using the website linked on this story on IdahoNews6.com. I'm your Eagle Neighborhood reporter, Alexander Huddleston, Idaho News 6.